Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes date. <laughs> I was about to say gameplay and that's pretty obvious <laughs> that is gameplay. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we can do today. So let's take our arena team out for a spin real quick. It's day 26. We're almost a month old with this account, which I think is really cool. How is your weekend going? And do you have any fun plans for the weekend or do you usually just sit back, relax, watch Netflix or play games or whatnot? Arena 1, out of the way. Oh sweet, we'll be able to unlock another Kanan shard. Um, five more shards for Kanan. Which is great. Let's get our gear. All this purple gear we're saving up for. Ooh, we can get another chopper stuff too. Nice, nice. Right, so let's blow all our. Oh, so close. Let's do this. Let's refresh. We got plenty of crystals to blow, so that's fine. There we go. Ezra. You're now four stars. Get more ability upgrade. Items, get more gear. Let's see here. Um, here is five, four, five. Let's do Zeb's basic because that daze is really nice to have. Mm, hard mode. What? Which hard mode do we need to start working on? Yeah. Let's do her. Three. We need. Boba Fett worked on. And we leveled up! What? Nice. Squad Arenas. We just did a few seconds ago. Shards. We need fifth level 52. Let's do some Galactic War. Okay, so there's no one here in this lineup, Ezra. You know, we already looked at the First Order Trooper. So I'll just auto this. What I'm thinking is I'll just auto for the majority of this War Table run. And if I find some other people, uh, we'll pause it and I'll show how their mechanics work because a lot of you have been commenting that you're liking how I comment about particular characters and how they fight against the Phoenix Squad. So we'll kept, definitely keep on working on that. There we go. And plus this gives our daily for the Galactic War out of the way. Wedge is like Biggs. He, he's pretty good. I, as I said, like he works really well with Lando, Biggs, and Wedge are like a pretty nasty combo. He has an AoE as you saw there. It's us, but yeah. With this team comp is interesting. There are two ta um, tanks 
Um, so being, if you look at the shield on Kanan right now, that's like, it removes defense. So it's actually pretty nasty on bosses, so you can deal extra damage. But besides that, she's she has a few grenades that has a chance of exposing, but having Chopper and being able to heal the whole Venus squad is a little bit better. So and that's why I don't have Sabine. On, but she is needed for um, unlocking uh, um, Grand Admiral um, Thrawn's Chimera ship. Alright, she is interesting. She is part of the Resistance, Admiral Holdo. But she is sort of like one of those low level characters that is almost funny that she's in the game. <laughs> and just look up Admiral Holdo. Um, Holdo, and you can see a few of the people who are game changers for the game, and they sort of make fun of her. <laughs> Alright, we need to get rid of this Ewok Elder, because he does a lot of rezzing. Like, he revives a dead comrade. So we'll take him out of the picture. Before he actually heals anybody. There we go. Take out the healer. Take out the tank. And then take out Luke. Boom. Done. Alright. So, we got a few people that we can analyze their battle strategies. This is a very interesting team comp. So... This guy here, if I remember correctly, he, um, I don't have actually Jawas unlocked on my characters, on my main account. But he does like electrical AoE, so he deals a decent amount of damage. This guy, we want to watch out for because he is a very good, very good tank. So if you have his node unlocked in the Cantina battle, um, and you have, and you're wondering what's a good tank, he is really good. Um, he taunts. But also, as he attacks, he gains a lot of health regen, so it's very hard to kill him. And having Jolie here as well, he is part of the crew that needs to unlock um, Jedi Knight Revan. He also is a healer, and his heals actually deal a pretty good amount of healing, just like, I would say, on the level of Talia-type leveling healing. And so, he and... Well, so we need to watch out for him, but also we need to take him out as soon as we can because if he keeps on healing him, this is going to be a hard team to go with. He's actually decent fives is, but we'll need to focus on Jolie first to get that healing um, out of the way. Less days. Nope, missed. Okay. There you go, out of the way. See, he has a stun. That that's a nasty one. Uh, taunt. Can we dispel in a few? Let's dispel that because we want to get Kylo Ren out of the way. Clone troopers by themselves are not are, are decent fighters but if you have them with a clone a full clone team they um especially with their uh, they got a slight rework emphasis on slight uh they they're actually pretty decent i've gone against them in my um, arena shard and they were pretty hard i actually lost to them a few times this looks like a standard lineup here Nothing too crazy, so we'll just auto. Standard people that we unlock. Chewie, Clone Trooper, Luke, Talia, and Consular. So, nothing too crazy. Yeah, nothing there. After this, I'll check the arena, see if we got the anything off cooldown. Yeah, and I don't think there's any, uh, if I saw, there was no events besides the uh, Palpatine event, which I think 
before the event ends, we'll at least be able to get the four star finished. But we definitely won't be able to unlock him until the next round. All right, so this team here, um, no one different except for the executioner, but by himself, uh, he's he's gonna die fairly quickly. But as I was saying, um, we I reviewed him a little bit. Um, he he was actually one of the characters I m used in my main. Um, my main team for um, clearing nodes because of his execution ability where if he gets the final kill with using his ability he that ability refreshes and so then he can use it again so my idea was to bring uh, everyone down to low and then let him just um, use the ability it refreshes kill another enemy refreshes and basically just go on the killing spree like that Yep, so there we go. Yeah, this this team is not going to be too big of a issue for us, as you can see. Even got the stun, so yeah, it's GG. Let's check our arena. Perfect. Yeah, because as soon as we can unlock being able to sim um, the Galactic War Table, which at this rate is going to be probably in my my guess, and that's with. If we maybe in March there might be some days where I can't record or so, um, I think mid March we'll be able to unlock the being able to automatically complete the Galactic War table, which is my main goal for for this because once we get that ability to just automatically do it, then I can put in my heavy um, my heavy teams. In arena, and then we can get more. Um, what we call it more tokens to unlock characters much quicker. Yeah, so I'm sort of biding my time. Until for those who are wondering, and on every r resets, I am going to be using all those tokens to unlock more Zeb shards. Okay, looks like this this guy here is starting his empire team. Right here, as you see, there's um, Moth Tarkin, Grand Moth Tarkin, right there. So, and then the Tie Fighter pilot. Tech, um, I personally would not have Chewbacca as lead for this. I would have Tar um, Tarkin as lead, but that's just just me because of he has. Empire and those those buffs are really helpful. And that, um, basically, the other people are there to support the Empire team. That's how I would tackle it. But I think he was doing the leadership for Jabaka so he can get the defense up, and that goes to everybody. Okay, okay, so bounty hunters here. So these are two bounty hunters here, Aura Singh and Boba Fett. We already seen him. She, I'll, I'll take a look at her kit real quick. Um, and then T, T3, which we saw in the last video. So Aura Singh here. Um, see this little here? This unit ignores taunts during their turn. When defeated, receives 50% health, cannot be dispelled, prevented, or stacked. So if we kill him, he gets automatically revived. And plus, he can attack anybody. So if Chopper taunts or um, Kanan taunts, he can choose whoever he wants. So he's immune to having taunt ability on him. So 
my uh, in this case, I wasn't sure if he had that ability unlocked. Um, I'll let her live. <laughs> and so what we're going to do is we're going to focus on Boba Fett's right now. So we can knock his um, revive out of the way. There we go, see? And get him off the field as soon as we can. There we go. There's T3s. He might taunt very soon. So we'll see if he'll do that. Okay, not basic. All right, good. Probably next round he'll do that. Yeah, so, um, that's her uh, um, ability right there is a good high high impact sniper shot. It's actually not too bad when you level it up. There's the taunt. Let's do this to get that debuff off the way. Let's dispel that. Oh, he, he's a droid, so I should have probably stunned him, but it's okay. We can... T3 is about to die anyway. Okay. Let's get Consular out of the way. Oh, there. So, that's that's why having Boba Fett in a team comp is really nice because he gives that extra layer of, you know, like, if your team is doing horrible and he dies, he actually has a revive option. And then if you have a healer, that heals his halfway of his health to full, and then he is he's back in the fight. All right, this is actually an interesting team as well. Um, we already know these people here, but this is Infus Nest. She's she's also a good character as well. When you get that um, note unlocked, she has a lot of days abilities, a lot of AOE and silence, and she when she gets hit, she gets protection up, which is a bit of annoying factor, so let's see if we can. Uh, yeah, see, like there, she got we got three dazes and debuffs. Yeah, this is. Let's let's do this. Let's let's remove days on Hera. Yeah, as you can see, there's just debuff stacking. I want to get the healer out of the way first. So then we can focus on taking everyone out one by one. Ah, we didn't get the double tap, but we'll be able to. Cool. All right. I'm thinking what we do is focus on Tarkin next. Don't worry about Ness. We'll leave Ness for last would be my guess because I want Tarkin to remove because he have all the debuffs he gives us. Uh, let's take out Executioner next. Alright, let's use that because he... Oh, ooh. Okay, cool. We got this done on him. Good. Ooh. Okay, good. I was like, if we didn't hit that expose, I would be a little bit miffed. Okay, there's a this uh, Days. Oh, no double tap. Dang. See, we, he, he's a buff immunity right here. Immune to buffs. But let's do this just to be on the safe side. Backup plan. Just in case Chopper goes down. Let's taunt because we're as an automatic or you revive. Oh, well, buff immunity. That was a little waste. Duh. I wasn't thinking. Sorry. Uh, let's remove that. There we go. Use that. Okay, now we can work on nest. Counter attacks. All right, we're slowly whittling her away, her health down. Okay, let's get. Oh, he can't get that. Dang it! Keep on forgetting about that buff immunity. Okay, can't use that. Okay, because of the days. Let's do that. So as you can see, Nest is a very decent tank. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna retreat. Redo this again. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I misplayed that. Wow, the dodge. Mm. But as you saw, you know, Nest is a very good character. So if you have her, if you got lucky with the bronzing packs and locked her, or you are able to definitely get her. Definitely get her going because she's a very good character. You might have to sort of level up our characters a little bit. Let's dispel that, get some... There we go. Let's use that. We're actually doing horrible. <laughs> We're not doing too hot with this round. Okay. Uh, they're all dazed, so I can't summon them to help me. Uh, there's the expose. Let's do the taunt. Uh, can't do that. Okay. Oh, well, that was dumb. Mm. Protection up on him. Okay. Uh, we can't wait that stun. Ah, okay. Yeah, we might have to wait a little bit. Level up our guys. See arenas. Oh, perfect. And that should be our dailies out of the way. So let's work on getting our characters up as high as we can. See if we can beat this. I've been out of finish you oh interesting finish three battles using mod energy 50 and you can play a lot on quest mod battles okay so let's unlock these people to 50 so mods are Nice. Mods are used to right here. And so they add another layer to customizing your characters um, and buffing them, which is cool. Hey, we're level four. And I'll show you. We'll probably get a tutorial as well. So let's get Ezra up. Let's see, two, three. There we go. Nice. 
So as you can see, we're using a, a lot more sims than we're actually taking in. So that's why having a nice little buffer of sims is nice. But we also have a lot of crystals as well. So if we need to, we can go to the store real quick and buy those 20 for 30 crystals. And we it shouldn't break our crystal bank. Yeah, so just trying to get our gear up. Oh, sweet. We actually get this for... That works out in our favor just nicely. And I'll just use this. Buy more Sims. <laughs> we got 2,000 crystals, so I, I, think we, I think it's okay if we use some of those. All right, we'll be able to get him to gear six. That is nice. Uh, let's get it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, do one with the note there. What about him? Yeah, we probably need the same components. What about you? Alright, let's refresh. We should be able to... Yes. As you can see, you know, there are times where even if we do five sim runs, you know, we don't get the gear we need. So that's, that's part of them. We're in the, like, middle area where gear sometimes doesn't work for us so we have to keep on trying we got some achievements perfect 11 dark side characters what's our Darth Vader at where's our Darth Vader 66 of 80 yeah yeah we're good with that all right so let's look into mod battles real quick Mod battles. Customize your character with mods to earn the mod battles to improve their strength. Alright, so let's battle real quick. Since we'll be using Phoenix Squad. Uh, let's... Hmm. 4, 4, 4, 43. There's a 53. Uh, 53 Darth Vader. Where's the other Darth Vader? Yeah, let's use that Darth Vader here. Phoenix. Okay, so as you can see here, there is um, a five round one. So we not might, might not be able to finish this because if I remember correctly, as as soon as I was able to unlock this, I wasn't sure if my team was strong enough, even though we are 50. The teams are fairly high there, like gear 6. But level 39, yes, but their gear does help with the damage, so we'll see if this works. But I think having a Vader in the mix is going to help. This video might be a little bit longer. We're about to hit the 30 minute mark, but I want to at least finish one mod battle so y'all can see what it looks like. Yeah, we're, t we're doing decently. We're doing decently. I think, I think taking the extra time and getting our characters up as hard as I can with gear wise is, is helping a lot as I can see here. Especially for Ezra, because now he is dealing, he's able to deal a good amount of damage. 
And that's my main account's notification for the reset. Yeah, this guy has a lot of health. Okay, cool. Yeah, having that Darth Vader was nice because of that buff. Here we go. All right, so that's how our mod is. I went a little too fast. I'm sorry. So let's take a look real quick, and then we'll stop the video. So now you can we can manage our mods. Personally, um, there and see this is a basic where you can auto assign mods, but um, in reality, it's sort of nice to use the advanced model right here. Yeah, it's just going through comparing stats right there. The reason is because then you can actually have full customization and don't worry, there are tons, tons of forums slash videos on how to mod particular people. So if you're overwhelmed by the modding system, just look up mods for a particular character. And there's actually a website that I use uh, when I get the higher end mods to use to mod, um, gear my character and mod them correctly. So yeah, don't get overwhelmed, please. <laughs> it looks intimidating, but in reality it's not really. So we got Ezra up. What I want to do is get our tanks up with House some health. So I'm just going to click on square. And this one here is offense up, but also is a health mod. So it gives a 5% health. So I'm going to assign it to this guy and confirm and where's my other tank? Here, offense up, that's fine. Uh, chopper, where are you? I'm going to assign that. And confirm. So, what's this one? Crit transfer, crit chance. Speed. Okay. What I'll do is I'm going to give the speed mod to Hera. And confirm. Cool. So now we've modded our characters, our fan squad right here. And then whatever remainder I'll put into our Empire characters. But yeah, level 50. Not too bad, not too shabby. And um, like once we unlock the next node, we'll be able to get these people up to gear 6 like um, Ezra, which is nice. So we're progressing pretty nicely with our Phoenix Squad getting them um, high. And there's our mod battle energy. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see here. What else do we need to do? I think we unlock. Yes, we'll be able to unlock that. We'll be able to unlock that. Okay, yeah, I'll work on that off off the video for more Zeb, but we're pretty close to that, which is nice. So Kanan is actually almost to four stars. That's cool. We'll need to work on Hera. So let's do that real quick. Yeah, <laughs> only two out of 30. But yeah, we'll be definitely be able to... Definitely be able to get a four star emperor power, um, you know, four star event done. And I don't worry, I will record that four star run, so don't worry. Uh, but yeah, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, 
I'll do some more refreshes here. There's a 200 mark, so yeah. There we go. Okay, so that's... We got 14 of 30, so almost halfway for Hera. Just with that segment there, so that's good. Alright, yeah, so tomorrow we'll see how far we can get. Um, hopefully Hera to four stars. Kanan and Chopper will have to wait a little bit longer. I think maybe tomorrow we'll be able to get... Yeah, we'll definitely... No, let's do this. Let's refresh. We got plenty of crystals to burn. There we go. So, tomorrow we'll be able to unlock... Uh, maybe not tomorrow, but the next day, depending on how many resets we can do. Yeah, we'll, we'll burn a few crystals, but, you know, we'll stay in the 1,000 crystal range, and we should be fine. So, yeah. All right. We, we're we well on our way to get that four four stars at least for the Emperor Palpatine event before it ends. Okay, sorry the video was a little bit longer, but I wanted to just show a little bit of how Galactic War works with a little bit in the mid-tier and um, how how grinding gear a little bit can be a little bit annoying. <laughs> Hopefully you find this helpful. As always, check the description below. What I'll do is, if I remember, I'll post the mod um, website the website that i used to um use as a guide for modding if i remember so i'll post that down below so check that out if you have in-game characters and you want to figure out what's the best mods for them that's a good start at least um, and then we'll go from there I'll see you tomorrow and have a good day be safe out there